health related quality of life. Um, it's a concept that encompasses multiple domains of a person's well-being. Uh, so what we know um, in older breast cancer patients uh, is one, they make up the majority of breast cancer survivors and two, they often value quality of life even more than survival. Um, so what's interesting is that health related quality of life is more and more being found it's not an important outcome to older adults but actually something that is associated with their survival better quality of life leads to actually improved survival um, despite this it's not widely employed in practice um, there's a lot of reasons for that uh, time and resource constraints a lack of knowledge of how to measure health related quality of life um, as well as lack of knowledge of what to do with it. Uh, so we were interested in seeing how we can improve the use of health related quality of life in practice. It's about 660 uh, patients. They were followed over the course of 10 years. Um, there were several baseline sociodemographic, clinical, psychosocial, and breast cancer uh, characteristics that were measured, um, not only at the start, but also throughout, which allowed us to look at different associations between these variables, uh, as well as their chance of dying. Well, we looked specifically at uh, how these health-related quality of life variables of mental health, social support, and physical function uh, corresponded to survival. Um, and we developed a, a simple tool uh, that allowed a provider to incorporate those variables alongside important traditional variables such as age, stage of cancer, and breast cancer treatment, and using them along with those to, to try to see if they could predict mortality. Uh, what we found was that, one, health-related quality of life, physical function, mental health, and social support uh, was able to predict mortality even beyond age, stage of cancer, and breast cancer treatment. Um, and did so in a way that uh, having good physical function and mental health carried just as much weight to someone's risk of dying as having stage two breast cancer or receiving chemotherapy as part of their treatment regimen. Moreover, changes in baseline health-related quality of life, regardless of a woman's age, stage, comorbidity, or treatment, uh, led to significant changes in the predicted mortality. Uh, for instance, uh, having better baseline mental health, physical function, and social support uh, can lead up to a reduced risk of about 50% um, for basically any stage age or breast cancer treatment that was received. Um, so that was very interesting finding for us um, and showcases that health related quality of life is not just something that's important, something that we should consider uh, in, in treating towards, but also something that can be used to uh, predict someone's survival. We hope that one day it can uh, in order to be valid, it has to be used in other populations. Uh, we had a, a specific population that we followed, large number, um, but there are some limitations to using a, a tool like this uh, without looking at whether it's valid and works the same in other populations of, of older patients with breast cancer specifically. Um, so I think that would be the next step. Uh, but I think it's a move in the right direction of trying to incorporate and involve some of these important variables that older patients are interested in um, and doing so in a way that they're not ends in themselves but also means to improving survival.